Take this song for me again. Hallelujah. Anything can happen this month. Amen. I said something last Sunday. I said, do something that will provoke blessings into your life. And two things came to my mind to use as an analysis. And one was when I talk of the Odeon way of Umukwe, the whole local government. They do said how he used some words that provoke my word, my spirit. And I release words which many are witness of, because many from that village are here today hearing me. I wanted to say the second one also then it just I couldn't remember so I left it I ran it out Amen I think Mama Lady prayer just now she now made mention of it that reminds me the issue of the man that is called Baba God Montus and the things I had him said if you observe my spirit is very calm observe things then as the, since the beginning of this year, looking at things, because the year is so loaded. Let your spirit be very sensitive, because there's no miracle you cannot get. So, when I say this year, learn to do things that will provoke blessings. Learn to say things, add things that will provoke blessings into your life. It, it is not even about money. The original of Mogwe I talked about was the money he gave me. Praise the Lord. I told you last Sunday, I, he looked at me, a, a man close to 100 years looking at me, and I was still uh, around 40 that time. If, to that time, saying that. When you see the man, see somebody that will hear you, you tell him where he's paining you. I know you are the one to help us in this situation. That's why I'm saying this to you like this now. I look at Baba age, I look at myself. My spirit was provoked. The one mama just said, Lady Prayer just now, which I will explain more during the course of the teaching. Was it gift that he gave to me? What's it? Yeah. Those of you here or so John Luke came might not understand, but because of teaching, I will explain what he said that provokes. Because the his scenario is even very important to what we are talking of today. Remember, we said March will be talking of what? Understanding. <clears throat> when the time comes, I'll talk about that. You will understand better. Because we need understanding this world. So before we go into what God has for us, 
We want to sing that song just one again from beginning to the end to the Lord. Because just know, it's an understanding to know that the reason why you are alive is just to what? Worship God. The reason why you are alive. Our sister was testifying. Her life was almost going out of him. But the Lord had a reason for what? Reviving, restoring. The reason why I'm alive is a personal issue now. So say the reason why I'm alive is just to worship you, Lord. Just to worship you, Lord. I will serve you. I will do your way. So let's sing this song in my heart. you reign. Beneath the earth you reign. We we'll appreciate you. You have crowned us to reign on the earth. Nothing stops it. It is your agenda concerning our life. We must reign. We curse every satanic agenda. Every vote forces trying to work against our reign on the earth. We shatter them. Whatsoever forces whether spiritual whether physical, whether material, whether financial, whatsoever forces put together that don't want us to reign on earth, we curse them from their root. They will wither in the name of Jesus. You created us to dominate, and so shall it be in Jesus' name. Wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice, you are created to reign. And you must reign in Jesus' name. In any nation, in every country, in any kingdom you find yourself, any city, you are created to reign. And reigning is your portion in Jesus' name. 
Thank you, Lord. My spirit is so high and so excited because I know that I know that I am on earth for a purpose. And there's a reason why I'm born. Likewise, every other person, there's a reason why you are born. And Paul has the mandate, has the grace, has the capacity of returning, propelling everyone to that singular purpose. So that's why the vision is to liberate creations, revive them, and return them to the original intent. So when we enter a month like this March, which is starting today, what cries in my heart is why I'm born. That's why I say anything can watch and happen. No limitation to any signs and wonders that God will wrought in your life. As long as your heart is open, connected, your heart desires it, no limitation. In every area, there's no limitation. Praise the Lord. From the onset of entering this year, even from the crossing over, if you're in that crossing over service or if you watch it in the YouTube, you found out that when I'm rounding up in that one hour declaration, 12 to 1, I, I, I started talking about what? Understanding. Because there's, a, there's something the Lord is crying in my heart about understanding. That when we have understanding, a lot of things will take place, we take shape. And everyone connected to this mandate that we hear these teachings in this month, you can no longer be the same in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. So this month we'll be talking of a, 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 a team getting understanding. So I will speak on it as a topic today, as a way of introducing it. Get understanding. It's the topic of the message this morning. Get what? Understanding. Get understanding. Because we need it to accomplish what God wants us to accomplish. <clears throat> I would like us to put, take note of this text, Proverbs 4, 1 to 7. Hallelujah. And I will read through that Proverbs 4, 1 to 7. In Proverbs 4, 1 to 7, reading from King James, he said, Hear ye, children, the instruction of a father, and attain to no understanding. What did he say? Attain to no understanding. It's a responsibility. Verse 2. For I give you good doctrines, forsake ye not my law. For I was my father's son, tender, and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also, and said unto me, Let the heart retain my word, keep my commandment, and leave. Verse 5. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Can you say get understanding? He said get wisdom. He said get understanding. And she shall preserve thee. Say forsake her not. And that this is not wisdom and understanding personified. So now we are dealing with understanding. So I see understanding here now what? Personified. In verse 5. In verse 6. I see understanding now personified. He said, forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Loved her, and she shall keep thee. Then verse 7, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all that getting, get understanding. Can somebody shout hallelujah? hallelujah. With all that getting, get understanding. Get understanding. Amen. What is understanding? I've been meditating, so I came out with some definitions. Understanding. What is understanding? Understanding is a comprehensive insight of a subject matter. A comprehensive insight. You have a comprehensive knowledge. A comprehensive insight of a subject matter. What is understanding? I put in another form. A comprehensive knowledge or insight 
of how a system works. A comprehensive knowledge or insight of how a system works. Of how a system works. What is understanding with another form? The insight or knowledge that a man has that makes him to be able to give right judgment. The insight or knowledge that a man has that makes him to be able to give what? Right judgment. Because nothing the matter. Hallelujah. Give right judgment. So, so, understanding have a lot to do in your life. When you allow the spirit of it to enter you. The root of understanding. So what is the root of understanding? Where can it be tricked to? Where can it be, be found? Hallelujah. I want to let you know that understanding is one of the seven spirits of God. It's one of the seven spirits of God. So that's why it's called the spirit of understanding. So to get understanding... You need to get the spirit of what? Understanding. Can you say, my father, my maker, I receive into my life the spirit of understanding. Because that is the root. That is the source. You need to enter you because you become a different person when you operate with these spirits of understanding. Hallelujah. Turn your Bible to Isaiah 11. We take 2 and 3. You see what the scripture says there. Isaiah 11 verse 2 and 3. He said, And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding. Hallelujah. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding. So understanding is a spirit that flows from the Lord. And that is what we need in our life. Hallelujah. No one under this grace, no one under this commission, no one connected far or near that will not manifest the spirit of understanding in the name of Jesus. It will be seen. It will be clear. Because people will see you giving right judgment. People will see that you understand. How do you understand how these things work? I tell you, it's a comprehensive insight into a subject matter. It's the insight, the knowledge of how a system works. It is spirit that helps you to give right judgment. So all this evidence will be seen in your life. In all your endeavors. In the name of Jesus. So, back to this Isaiah 11 too. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and mind. The spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. Go to verse 3, you get a shock there. Verse 3 says, And shall make him of quick understanding. La sotorobonea. What is the root of understanding? The Lord is the source, is the root, is his spirit. When the spirit of understanding rests upon you, it will make you of what? Quick understanding. It gives you insight. It gives you unusual understanding. It makes you smarter. When the Bible says you will know more than your teachers, it is this type of spirit that is in oppression. Hallelujah. Is somebody with me? 
This is the spirit in operation, the spirit of understanding. He said, To make you, verse 3 says, and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord, and he shall not judge after his sight of his eyes, neither reproved after the hearing of his ears. We're not going to those ones now because today we just want to introduce it and so that we'll bless the communion we take our communion you see even this verse 3 when you are made of quick understanding you find out that you are now operating more than the level of just what you see of what you hear what could be more evidence more than what you see what i saw hallelujah but a man that's operating with a of understanding you are seeing something and the lord is even saying even though this person is acting like this this is not just this person he's under one influence under one spear under one manipulation or one or two things is involved or rather you see this person op operating like this he's not even the issue you are the target they are just looking for a way to what to softly lay hold of you then you are no longer even moved by what you are seeing you are another person that be crazy i saw it did you not see it don't even bear witness i saw it hallelujah but the scripture is saying here in verse 3 there's 11 he said we make you of quick understanding in the fear of the lord and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes the judge you always say by the evidence before me what evidence should be stronger than an eyewitness are you a hearsay no i'm not a hearsay i saw it this is serious but the lord is saying when you carry this bit of understanding you no longer even judge by what that's why sometimes don't blame for for that say that did you not see this thing and you are still talking like this oh you are just seeing this hallelujah that's why sometimes i will say something to some people it will take them one year to understand it so it will take some years I didn't understand that time. Or some say, I didn't hear it. I said it up to several times. Self. Praise the Lord. <laughs> because your understanding was still dead. You are still judging by what you see, what you hear, what you do this. That's why something is translating in your life this month. Something is turning around in your life this month. Because you will be of what? Quick understanding. Can you stand up and tap your head and say, I hear quick understanding the spirit is entering you in a in an excellent measure this month in the name of jesus wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice quick understanding is your portion because if you want to stand out you need to carry it god bless you of quick word understanding this word job understood that's why he spoke in Job 32 8. He said something that was very amazing there. Turn your Bible to Job chapter 32, verse 8. He said, But there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty give them understanding. Hallelujah. There's what? A spirit in man. When the Spirit of God that is one of the seven spirit of god which is the spirit of understanding when it enters you and dwells in you then it lighten up the spirit in you and then what you see you say but there's a spirit in man and the inspiration of the almighty give it what understanding the inspiration of the almighty hallelujah i love the way amplified put this job 32 8 amplified he said, but there is a vital force. There's what? A vital force. A spirit of intelligence in man. And the breath of the Almighty give men understanding. What is this breath? That is the Holy Ghost. The spirit that God transfers into us. So, that is the root. That is the source of it. I will make us begin to multiply. 
and be what God wants us to watch to be. Hallelujah. That is why, if you understand Proverbs 19, it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of what? Of wisdom. He said, The departure from evil is understanding. A man departed from evil. You see sin, you run away. You see evil, you turn aside. You are not a part of it. He said, that is understanding. That's how King James put it. The departure from evil is understanding. Go there in that uh, proverb 19. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The departure from what? From evil is the fear of the Lord is the beginning of what? Of wisdom. Proverbs 19. Say the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the knowledge of the holy is understanding. The knowledge of the holy. I was quoting this. What's it called? Job 28. 28. So, in, in, in Proverbs 19 here, he says, the fear of the Lord is being of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. The knowledge of the holy is a manifestation of understanding. You have knowledge of the holy is understanding. Another translation said that is insight. That is English Standard Version. The fear of the Lord is the being of wisdom. And the knowledge of the holy, the knowledge of the holy one is insight. Insight. That's why I define understanding as a comprehensive insight. You have a comprehensive insight of how system work. So that makes you to begin to play the role that God will expect you to what to play. To be what God wants you to be understanding so that so that as you go today or even in the midst of this service as we are taking the communion begin to pray lord let the spirit of understanding enter me i want to stand out no man with understanding that will not stand out hallelujah because understanding as we are carrying the spirit of standing praise the lord amen so you certainly stand out Understanding. Because a lot of things see people from the periphery. A lot of people see things from the periphery. See it from the top. But the one who has understanding is the one that have gone under. I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about. Now. It's the one that has seen things from under. He knows how the system works. You are just seeing it from the outside. You see that the vehicle is moving, the body is here, the engine is there. But the one who have understanding knows how everything in this in, inside is working. That's why it's under. Praise the Lord. So in everything, try to see the under. Amen. And you begin to stand out. For those people that knows what to do, that knows how to go about things. Let's not go into that too much now. No. So, A lot of things goes on when one carries the spirit of understanding. No. The scripture said in Proverbs 21 6, Proverbs 21 16, Proverbs 21 16. He said, A man that wandered out of the way of understanding, we find himself in what? In the congregation of the dead. Hallelujah. The man that wanders out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. What does that mean? Just because you lack understanding, that is, you are already in a dead zone where things are not what? 
moving. It has been working. So that uh, some things I'll just throw to you now to help the spirit to be charged up and get yourself prepared, ready to get understanding, praying and desiring it. Let the spirit enter you. So that you begin to understand. You'll be quickened to begin to start seeing how things work. Look at Proverbs 21 16. He said, the man that wandered out of the way of understanding. So that is, when you refuse to get understanding, then where are you? Praise the Lord. You cannot be on the fence. You must be in one side. Because you, you refuse to get understanding. Proverbs have told us, we read just down in Proverbs 4. Whether in verse 4 and verse 7. He said what? Get what? Understanding. Verse 7 came and said, In all thy getting. In all thy getting. Get understanding. So when you now refuse to get understanding, where are you? You are in the congregation of the dead. That is where things doesn't work. So stop lamenting why is things not working. Let your spirit be quickened. Let the spirit of understanding enter you. When he entered you, you see things working. That's why you see some. They say, ah, just as I've had many testified before, is it not this company I've been working before? Is it not this place I've been before? But since I have contact with the man of God, since I came to this commission, things are not working. You know what I just gave them? Understanding. Hallelujah. Because he dived into every area of life. Every area of life. He just understood. It's the same thing, the same environment, the same day and night. 24 hours has not increased. The seven days in a week have not what increased. You now see a man, what he was not able to do in 10 years, he's not doing it on that one year. He just got understanding. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Is somebody ready to get it more than ever before? Because it's in levels, you keep growing in it. So, he said, the man that wandered out of the world of understanding will find himself where? In the congregation of what? Of the dead. So, we are in a place where things does not work. So, stop screaming why it is not working. That's why the wise man will say, you can't keep doing things the way you keep doing. And expect what? A change. Because we are supposed to move forward and understand a comprehensive system of how the thing work. Of how to survive where you are. And you see your life keep transforming. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's understanding that will make you to keep moving from one level to the other. Understanding. You know, you look at Proverbs 19.8. Proverbs 19 it says that in the big part, it says, He that keepeth understanding shall find good. He that keepeth what? Understanding shall find good. That's how King James put it. Amplify said, He that keepeth understanding shall prosper and find good. That is when you have understanding. And you keep it. What does that mean to keep it? That is you are working with it. You will prosper. You will find good. That means you have understanding. Some have an understanding yesterday. And they refuse to keep it. It's not enough to just receive understanding. And then and you work with it a while and leave it behind. You leave it behind. Then he will also leave you. And by so doing, you find out that you are not getting close to the congregation of the dead. And if you are not careful, things that's already working will, be, will stop. But he who finds it and keep it, he said, we prosper and find good. Hallelujah. Proverbs 19.8. Are you there? That he that getteth wisdom love his own soul. Proverbs 19.8. He that loveth wisdom. He that getteth wisdom. We are told get wisdom, get understanding, but we are dealing with understanding now. He said, he that get it wisdom love his own soul. So, but today we are dealing with understanding. He said, but he that keepeth understanding. Which means before you started keeping it, you already have it. 
Because you cannot keep what you don't have. I've seen men who have it and they refuse to keep it. If there's any way you have not kept your own, you are getting it back in Jesus' name. Because your progress must keep moving. Your prosperity must keep moving. He said, he that keepeth understanding shall prosper and shall find good. You want good to keep locating you. All you need is just to keep the understanding that God has given you that makes things work for you. Hallelujah. Amen. I said something that, that Mama Julie prayer reminded me of about the Baba God Montos issue. For the sake of those who we are known, maybe just came here of recent, or might be listening in any part of the world that they understand it very well. Who is this man? He, he, he was a transporter. He, he, he has a, a bus that he was using. He bought one bus that he's using. He's driving it by himself. So my branches coming to an anniversary, one of them chartered the bus. And the branch told him, we need two buses to charter from Edo State down to Lagos to be in our convention. He said, okay, since I have one, I will also contact my friend who is also having what? Well, and that he did. And they negotiated and they paid the deposit of Deraban that they will, the boss will bring those church members to Lagos on Tuesday and the convention is starting from Benin to Lagos. And once they drop them here in Lagos in the church compound, then they said they will go back to Edo State to now come on Sunday when the convention is over. Come on Sunday evening. Then by Monday morning, they take them back to what? To Benin. And that was the agreement. Lo and behold, they actually brought them on Tuesday. Convention went fine and they're about. So now this Baba got mottos on his own. On that Sunday, as he said, he called his friend. Now let's go now to Lagos to bring them back tomorrow. He said yes. So his friend told him yes. I'm setting, I'm getting ready too. So they spoke on phone, said, okay, I've moved, okay, I'll soon be coming behind too. So this Baba got mottos with his boss drove to Lagos. He was now here at about 8 or 9. They keep calling friends, say he's coming, he's coming. But when it was now around the 11, 12, he's not still here. At this time, the phone no longer going, switch off. So he was now worried. Why would this, my colleagues, do this type of thing to the church? He was worried, he was not happy. So that became an issue. The people who came with that bus that didn't come we were like worried. So that was what I heard with the pastors and all of them talking. I said, okay, if you take it easy. Convention just ended, a lot of blessings, and then that should not distract what? Your blessing. But just take it easy. Thank God at the dawn of the day, we only just pay a little extra charge. We'll go to a yard, we'll get another bus, take it to Benin. So people should not allow that to steal what? No, they will have a way of stealing what? God bless you. That is understanding. Comprehensive insight. <laughs> when you understand the devices, you, you are, when you are not ignorant of the devices, as 2 Corinthians 2, 11 to 13, we say, we are not ignorant of the devices of the devil. So that I come then, I said, okay. Everybody should go and relax. We're already around 12 midnight. And they are living around the uh, uh, five. At about that five, I was just sitting here. I had that same Baba God motto. He, he was talking to himself now. That he, he, he could see that he was not happy what his friend Ward did. He said, Why would this man do this thing? And he switched off his phone. He kept saying to me, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. 
So, and I heard him saying that, I don't, if I even have my way, that's why I say, listen to this, that's why I say, henceforth, start doing things or saying things that will provoke the blessings of God into your life. I heard him saying, he said, if I even have my way, I will even just bring these church people, yeah, with the agreement we have made the payment, but I will bring them that on Tuesday, I will pack the bus, stayed with them even with the convention, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, till on Sunday, when they close, Sunday night, early hours of a Monday morning, I take them back to work. To Benin. That's what I heard. I was sitting here that early morning meditating when I heard him say it. He was standing outside. And I knew that statement came from his heart. I was just wearing one small polo and the trousers with my slippers on my leg that morning. So I, I went close to him. What did you just say? He was not still talking about her. Did my friend did not say, no, forget about what? Your friend. <laughs> well, what about your friend? This is what I just heard you say. He said yes. That that is what in his heart. I said, open your hands. Amen. He opened his palm. I said, Father, this is what my ear heard. And I know this word came from his heart. I say, as I tap this hand, I declare this door opened for him to start getting more buses. So that's why I, I now tap the hand. I said, go. Yes, I'm going to now. You know, that day, okay, before I go to that man, Larry, he carried the passenger, he went, that same year, before the August, you know, every August of our anniversary, the Lord favored him, was able to get a very good home and boss, far better than the one he had before, at a very favorable price. So it now became two. So, in that year now, so in the following anniversary, they actually charter his two buses now. I did not even know what God did or what happened. I didn't even remember because a lot of things in the, for one month self, a lot of things is done on talk of what about his bus. He came with the two buses and packed it outside. It was that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, even everybody's busy, the person never shared things with me. As of on Saturday or Friday, when our patron came in, he came and met me in the office. He said, Ah, sir. He said, Which of your branch just chartered a transporter uh, bus? And they packed them outside. This is on Tuesday. That is wasted of uh, resources. I said, hey, Is there anyone that chartered that part? I didn't know. That's when I now got to know it was what? Baba God bought us. Ever now had that? I say, the Lord, just at that declaration, the Lord did it for him. And just as he said, this person also missed up vow because they lack understanding. He came with that to boss. He didn't consider what he will walk Tuesday, Wednesday to this thing and then pack them aside. No, then there's no space in the compound, everywhere is fit. I said, wow. That's when I now had a testimony. I said, more grace upon him. The following year, because the Lord saw, as he said, you know, that's how God do test people. You just say some things, God will test you with one to see whether, <laughs> you know. The following year, the Lord now favor him with three more. Make him five. This was not the year he not testified. Favor him with three more. So the church chartered four of his vehicle, some of the branches. And he came with that four and packed them. That is somebody who keep what? And packed them. 
Monday, Tuesday, till on Sunday. He even told himself, he told his driver, everybody should be part of what? Of the convention. And before this time, he, he, he has started worshipping with the branch in the hall. Before this time. Started worshipping with the branch in the hall. The grace was what? Lo and behold, when at a stage that was here, he not testified, prayed for him. They said, What you need now is the miracle that just brought you into the church. You need to start learning what the word of God, the basic things, your sacrifice, your covenant. Even when I'm not talking about some challenges on the vehicle, I say, What you need is to not have knowledge, start combinating each of them monthly. Transporters, you know what they do, sacrifice for their vehicle. So, the grace, if you understand where you are now, it's just for you to start learning more. And really, he started learning, going, and things were getting better and better. Hallelujah. Sometime two years ago, there are bunch, he started just getting to my mind. I called him. When I called him, he said, ah, Sir, I'm in Raman Park in Benin City now for some months. He said, Because I now want to have my own garage. But the local government people have been what? Not be favorably. The other people are ensuring that I don't get it. I now prayed for him. Declare words. Within three days, he called me back and said, Sir, they have what? Granted it. <laughs> now granted it. Now he now stays more in Benin. Now go to Benin. When we are in Ajal last November, He's talking to my mind. I was asking the pastor. He said, ah, for some time, I've not been seeing him. He's now then and there about. I said, God will open his understanding. So I created time. I now called him. He said, yeah, he now stays more in Benin now. I said, but in Adua, in the environment there, are you not aware we even have a branch in, a, in that Adua there? He said, yes, he's aware. So, if you have an understanding, you should be careful with what? Your source. And that I found that he didn't understand. As I was talking to him, the credit in my phone got finished. It's easy for me to just buy, always buy credit for the net, but continue my call. But something tells me, no. Don't even watch. Well, now, you wait whether he will watch. Call back. So the street just test me. And I waited, he didn't call back. Till now. <laughs> Amen. Till now. Praise the Lord. Now this year, some people what? Lack what? Till now, he didn't call back. But by the grace of God, I have time, I will still call him. Sir, let your eyes be watched. See ahead. It's not when things is already out of track, begin to talk of what? Devil. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So somebody is going to catch on you to understand it this month. And you keep moving from glory to glory. From blessings to blessings. In the name of Jesus. So, if you are catching and understanding, let things be flowing in you henceforth that will be provoking the blessings of God into your life. Can you shout hallelujah? So, the man who the man who commits adultery just lack one thing. Do you know what he lacks? The man or woman who goes commit adultery. He's just wanting a lack. What is that thing? Can you turn to your Bible? Proverbs 6, 32. He said, he that committed adultery. Let me add he, she. He or she. Praise the Lord. That commits what? Adultery. Lacks what? Understanding. Proverbs 6, 32. He said, but who so committed adultery lacks understanding? And destroy his own soul. 
Hallelujah. You just understand it. That he or she lacks. So he that commits adultery one lacks understanding and destroys his own soul. So, there's too much you need to understand because I'm understanding that will make you fulfill what God wants you to fulfill. That will make you accomplish what God wants you to accomplish. Your spirit becomes sensitive. Taking the right judgment. Being everything God wants you to be to the glory of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Rise on your feet. You need understanding. Because the devil knows that some Christians lack this. He knows how to tricklishly push them into where they can be trapped. Look at the grace that just be stepping into that young man's life. Not really that he has known God because of some words that came out of the heart that I had. I said, wow, this is thing from this man's heart. This man's heart. That's why when you have an understanding, you pray in line with God's agenda. Lord, make me a blessing. Let me be what I need to be on earth. I need to fulfill your purpose, your agenda on earth. Doing what God wants you to do. The earth is the loss and the fullness thereof. Resources belong to him. You begin to put things in your hand the way you never imagined. Hallelujah. Pray for yourself. Anywhere you are hearing me now, is there anywhere you have wandered out of understanding? You have understood it before, but you have wandered away. Restoration is taking over your life now. Grace is taking over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Leyedos in Kalados in Palagadea. Leyodos rendeleketos obonika. Because it is the strategy of the devil to steal, to kill, and to destroy, to manipulate, and take good things from people. But the Lord has decided to quicken our understanding this month. He has decided to open up our understanding in every area this month. To the glory of his name. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because understanding will help us to know the devices of the wicked. When he's just starting it, we would have known. Understanding quicken us up. He said, it shall be of a quick understanding. Quick understanding. Holy Ghost, we thank you. In Jesus' name, stretch your hand towards me wherever you are now. Lake Indos in Palagado. Lord, I thank you, Lord. This is an amazing month, the month of March. You have said before us, to the glory of your name, Abba Father, Jehovah Nisi, you told us in all our getting, we should get understanding. Lord, everyone will be loaded with understanding this month. More than ever before, your spirit will take over because it's a force, as Amplified tell us. He says it's a force. This force will enter us. This spirit of understanding will enter us. We'll be of quick understanding. Our judgment will be sound. Our insight will be unusual. When we talk, people will know there's something exceptional in our life. Lord, I thank you that whatsoever anyone need to do in the midst of the month in the midst of the year is it in speaking is it in action is it in doing is it in giving it also ever steps up the fact that there will be a provocation that will bring blessings lord we shall not be short of it this year we shall not miss ourselves this year in the name of jesus every altar you want us to raise that will bring unusual open door unusual blessing lord quicken our understanding will become a generational blessings in the mighty name of jesus lord i know things is going to happen this month that is unusual unusual miracles unusual breakthroughs 
unusual turn around is going to break forth into life families and home this year in the name of jesus and so shall it be in jesus name thank you lord lord we thank